Well, I started something fun today. I kind of want to share it. with you when you play these songs on them. Um, but the next thing I want to work on is changing it so when you hit the, um, whenever you hit one of these, it resets the, um, the background ambience that you're hearing. So I've rendered out four of them. This is the one you normally hear. And there's this one. So, um, yeah, so I wanted to change that ambience that you're hearing the whole time so you can kind of like change the key of the, it's not, it won't be the key, the key will be the same, but because this is like, this one's F sharp, this one's, you know, they're all in the key of C sharp, basically, so that's in tune with the overworld music that would be playing right now at this point, I've just got it turned off. So, ambience plus these little gong sounds plus the music that's already playing, and you can kind of like either jam with the music or turn off the music and make your own. Um, so yeah, when I, I want to create a new command so these little spheres, um, I've got them all hooked up so they have their own AI. That's how they're like reaching out and dancing with you and stuff like that. Um, so them I want to make, um, be able to change, whenever they play their gong noise, they'll actually change the area's loop sound so we'll do it like this area area loop we're going to change this is called loop change so we want to change whatever is all anything in the game scene that starts with a word I think it's called sphere. Change it to sphere three. Slowest thing is going to be compiling a damn project again. Um, so let's get that function. Uh, we don't need constants. We need game scene where the game scene controls all the loops and stuff. Stop loops, move loops, clear loops. Let's do another function called change loops. Anything that starts with or contains um, change to Okay, so let's get that compiling while we write this function. We'll put it in here, move loops. Okay, so for all of our loop positions, we need to restart loops too. So yeah. For anything in loop positions, um, if pair if contains, oops, contains pair dot first substr.
pair.first equals two. This is an auto ref. Hopefully that this works. Okay, so now we want to loop through all the loop IDs. Actually, we could do this a little simpler. Because I think loop positions and loop IDs are both maps or vectors of, um, yeah, they both have strings. Okay, so the loop IDs, yeah. We need to go over those the same way. So loop IDs of contains pair of first subster pair of first equals two and oh wait why is it not liking that it's looping is making a constant shouldn't be Anyways, it'll be something like this. Kit, stop sound, pair a second. And then pair of first equals two. Where does it actually start playing? Oh, it just, we could just stop the sound and delete, and then delete this one. Yeah, this is definitely constant, looping over constant. Why is it doing that? I guess maybe I have to write a, a boring old iterator. Damn, what the hell?
Okay, I guess we'll try this a totally different way. Um, we'll just do position. Oh yeah, this needs to be that kind of curator. If it contains it, then pause equals it second. And erase it. Okay, so if not pause is zero, then loop positions two equals pause. Okay, and then the same kind of thing here, loop over the IDs in a similar way because we're going to have to delete them. Oh, this isn't right. We need to do it if it's for every loop that has that name. So V Wait a minute. Yeah, it's a map of strings. Oh, damn. So you can't have multiple of the same one. What? I thought I wrote this differently. Or this could this is a vector. Hmm. Oh, okay. We deleted the one. Oh, these don't need to be stored. I can just delete them. Oh, and stop the sound.
Okay, so this is something I need to debug for sure. Let's see it. It should be all prepped, ready to go with the AI system. All right, so I wrote this loop change. Oh, I've got to write the actual loop change animate and special thing. So this actually should be called special loop change. All right, we got a breakpoint ready to test this out. You know what, let's just try it without even testing it. <laughs> this would be a miracle if this actually worked. Okay, so how do we crash? Special loop change. Oh, it just doesn't like it. Oh, that's fine. Oh, this is special. Loop change. And this needs to be called loop change. And I'm going to have to debug it anyway, so I might as well just step through it the first time. Okay, here we go. What are our existing loop positions? We got two of them. There's the entrance ambience playing, but sphere two is the one we're, we're, we're gonna be targeting here. It's a 27084, sphere two. Okay, and we're changing anything with the word sphere to sphere two again. Okay, this is kind of a horrible test. We can start that over. I could have just left it running. Okay, I can't hit that sphere. I gotta hit some other kind of sphere to truly change the name. I'm really excited to do really these artistic things. This is just these little touches that will make the game much more alive. I'm gonna draw some some individual rock faces soon too. That'd be fun. There's all there's four of the same rock faces everywhere. They need to be unique. Loop positions, all right, what are they again? So yeah, sphere two, and we're changing two, sphere zero, all right, this time. Okay, so we loop through each one. It's not that one. Found it, all right, this is it. Sphere two, good. And we're pushing back its second into the vector and erasing it, and that's all. And now it's going to move over the positions it sort up, push them back using the new loop position so that next time it runs its animation loop, it'll, it'll trigger that and play that one. So now we need to stop the existing one. So we need to loop, yeah, look, make sure these are good. The loop IDs are, so we're only playing sphere two anyway. First one, stop it right away. I guess that could clip. I probably should fade that out.
That's it. Okay. off the screen even it's still playing that sphere zero so you can truly interact with this oh I messed up there oh what's happening oh it's got to actually change the area's loop position So area needs a function for that. It would be exactly like the header for game scene. I think the reason it was making me do this do it this way wait is this a vector Uh, same thing. Okay, yeah, I gotta do it this way, I think. I guess I should make this a. Now that I'm using this twice, I should put it as something I can reuse. Well. Okay. Make a kid function for this. Oh, is there something? Ah, I guess, yeah. Let's make a little, um, this needs to be, ah, this is kind of, well, oh. I don't really want to put another template class inside here. Or template function.
guess I could do a pound to find. That's cool. So we're looking for inside a map, we want to change. Oh. Ah. This is, uh, never mind. Okay, so once that's all running, I can do this, change loops the same way. This is painfully slow. Oh, because X code's open and it's indexing. No wonder it was so slow. Okay, screw that.
probably seen the close X code right when I need it. Oh, 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 it's just got to go and loop over the areas around it. Oh, oh, it's got to be every direction, actually. Can I get the area? No. Oh, P equals, um, P equals, little pause, add compaster, D to P dot X, P dot Y, I think. Yeah, okay, that'll work. And then area, change, Loops. Okay, so there, every area around it. Oh, 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 one, one last thing. I mean, we should make sure that this Doesn't do anything if it's not active. No, I mean if it's if it's width. It's invalid. Okay, and that should still apply even if we go in the corner over here. Nice, yeah, I can kind of barely hear it. Let me just confirm it with this audio output. Yeah, we got sphere zero. Sphere zero. Oh, all of a sudden it's playing sphere two. not changing it's not changing the, the loops it needs to on the, the first area
Are you here? Yes, this is our first call. Should be doing this. Change its sphere to. It should have sphere two already. And then after we're done, we should change this to sphere three. Okay, we have no loop positions. We're gonna push back what's in V. This is the same algorithm. That's sphere three. Hmm. What? What? Ah, uh, what? It's like it moved the wrong one. Oh, but they're both the same place. How did it? Oh man, I'm confused.
Every time it starts, it adds a loop position for sphere. Because inside the area, create, yeah, it adds a loop here. Okay, so I need to, in area patterns, when it actually creates the pattern, not when it, every time it creates the entities, that's when it needs to set its loop. Sphere 2 needs it. Sphere one, sphere one needs it, but we'll do the sphere zero for that. Okay, that should work. Oh, that would explain the glitch when it wasn't playing. Oh, for some reason when you walked onto this area, it would just start playing this, and that explains why. Oh, X, Y, that just needs to be 8 on W2. Hold on. Let's do it like this. 8 on W2, 8 on H2, so I can repeat that. thing I would like to create a little harmony here let's try this um, if I change so gong zero I think is like the lowest gong let's try it playing with like the highest sphere they're all in the same key so no worries about any clash. just mixing up the middle. So these gongs need to be louder now. Is it getting to maybe 12? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do at least three.
sure that when you start down here, um, it does be... Yeah, good. It fades in when you're on this area. Very good. Okay. I think this new little feature of the game is complete now. I like it. You can jam on the spheres! Changing is random. There's like a random chance for it to actually change its key. Check the other sphere. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I gotta make this. I gotta work on this one now. I want this guy to like get gravitate towards you as well. That's a good word for it, gravitate. Anyways, oh um, yeah, gravitate and also be able to hit it and stuff. Alright, well that's it for that first bit, so that you can hit the four spheres now. So, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you had it. hope this was fun to watch, and um, yeah, check you next time.